Thermal radiation is electromagnetic radiation generated by the thermal motion of particles in matter. All matter with a temperature greater than absolute zero emits thermal radiation. Particle motion results in charge acceleration or dipole oscillation which produces electromagnetic radiation. The infrared radiation emitted by animals that is detectable with an infrared camera, and the cosmic microwave background radiation, are all examples of thermal radiation. If a radiation-emitting object meets the physical characteristics of a black body in thermodynamic equilibrium, the radiation is called blackbody radiation. Planck's law describes the spectrum of blackbody radiation, which depends solely on the object's temperature. Wien's displacement law determines the most likely frequency of the emitted radiation, and the Stefan Boltzmann law gives the radiant intensity. Thermal radiation is also one of the fundamental mechanisms of heat transfer. Topic <inaudible> overview: Thermal radiation, also known as heat, is the emission of electromagnetic waves from all matter that has a temperature greater than absolute zero. It represents the conversion of thermal energy into electromagnetic energy. Thermal energy consists of the kinetic energy of random movements of atoms and molecules in matter. All matter with a temperature by definition is composed of particles which have kinetic energy, and which interact with each other. These atoms and molecules are composed of charged particles, i.e., protons and electrons, and kinetic interactions among matter particles result in charge acceleration and dipole oscillation. This results in the electrodynamic generation of coupled electric and magnetic fields, resulting in the emission of photons, radiating energy away from the body through its surface boundary. Electromagnetic radiation, including light, does not require the presence of matter to propagate and travels in the vacuum of space infinitely far if unobstructed. The characteristics of thermal radiation depend on various properties of the surface it is emanating from, including its temperature, its spectral absorptivity and spectral emissive power, as expressed by Kirchhoff's law. The radiation is not monochromatic, i.e., it does not consist of just a single frequency, but comprises a continuous dispersion of photon energies, its characteristic spectrum. If the radiating body and its surface are in thermodynamic equilibrium and the surface has perfect absorptivity at all wavelengths, it is characterized as a black body. A black body is also a perfect emitter. The radiation of such perfect emitters is called black body radiation. The ratio of any body's emission relative to that of a black body is the body's emissivity, so that a black body has an emissivity of unity. Absorptivity, reflectivity, and emissivity of all bodies are dependent on the wavelength of the radiation. Due to reciprocity, absorptivity and emissivity for any particular wavelength are equal, a good absorber is necessarily a good emitter, and a poor absorber a poor emitter. The temperature determines the wavelength distribution of the electromagnetic radiation. For example, the white paint in the diagram to the right is highly reflective to visible light reflectivity about 0.80, and so appears white to the human eye due to reflecting sunlight, which has a peak wavelength of about 0.5 micrometers. However, its emissivity at a temperature of about 5 degrees Celsius 23 degrees Fahrenheit, peak wavelength of about 12 micrometers, is 0.95, thus, to thermal radiation it appears black. The distribution of power that a black body emits with varying frequency is described by Planck's law. At any given temperature, there is a frequency fmax at which the power emitted is a maximum. Wien's displacement law, and the fact that the frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength, indicates that the peak frequency fmax is proportional to the absolute temperature T of the black body. The photosphere of the Sun, at a temperature of approximately 6000 K, emits radiation principally in the humanly visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Earth's atmosphere is partly transparent to visible light, and the light reaching the surface is absorbed or reflected. Earth's surface emits the absorbed radiation, approximating the behavior of a black body at 300 K with spectral peak at fmax. At these lower frequencies, the atmosphere is largely opaque and radiation from Earth's surface is absorbed or scattered by the atmosphere. Though some radiation escapes into space, most is absorbed and then re-emitted by atmospheric gases. It is this spectral selectivity of the atmosphere that is responsible for the planetary greenhouse effect, contributing to global warming and climate change in general but also critically contributing to climate stability when the composition and properties of the atmosphere are not changing. 
The incandescent light bulb has a spectrum overlapping the black body spectra of the Sun and the Earth. Some of the photons emitted by a tungsten light bulb filament at 3000 K are in the visible spectrum. Most of the energy is associated with photons of longer wavelengths, these do not help a person see, but still transfer heat to the environment, as can be deduced empirically by observing an incandescent light bulb. Whenever M radiation is emitted and then absorbed, heat is transferred. This principle is used in microwave ovens, laser cutting, and RF hair removal. Unlike conductive and convective forms of heat transfer, thermal radiation can be concentrated in a tiny spot by using reflecting mirrors. Concentrating solar power takes advantage of this fact. In many such systems, mirrors are employed to concentrate sunlight into a smaller area. Instead of mirrors, Fresnel lenses can also be used to concentrate heat flux. In principle, any kind of lens can be used, but only the Fresnel lens design is practical for very large lenses. Either method can be used to quickly vaporize water into steam using sunlight. For example, the sunlight reflected from mirrors heats the PS10 solar power plant, and during the day it can heat water to 285 degrees Celsius (558.15 K) or 545 degrees Fahrenheit. Topic: <laughs> Surface effects. Lighter colors and also whites and metallic substances absorb less illuminating light, and thus heat up less, but otherwise color makes small difference as regards heat transfer between an object at everyday temperatures and its surroundings, since the dominant emitted wavelengths are nowhere near the visible spectrum, but rather in the far infrared. Emissivities at those wavelengths have little to do with visual emissivities visible colors. .In the far infrared, most objects have high emissivities. Thus, except in sunlight, the color of clothing makes little difference as regards warmth, likewise, paint color of houses makes little difference to warmth except when the painted part is sunlit. The main exception to this is shiny metal surfaces, which have low emissivities both in the visible wavelengths and in the far infrared. Such surfaces can be used to reduce heat transfer in both directions, an example of this is the multi-layer insulation used to insulate spacecraft. Low emissivity windows in houses are a more complicated technology, since they must have low emissivity at thermal wavelengths while remaining transparent to visible light. Nanostructures with spectrally selective thermal emittance properties offer numerous technological applications for energy generation and efficiency, e.g., for cooling photovoltaic cells and buildings. These applications require high emittance in the frequency range corresponding to the atmospheric transparency window in 8 to 13 micron wavelength range. A selective emitter radiating strongly in this range is thus exposed to the clear sky, enabling the use of the outer space as a very low temperature heat sink. Personalized cooling technology is another example of an application where optical spectral selectivity can be beneficial. Conventional personal cooling is typically achieved through heat conduction and convection. However, the human body is a very efficient emitter of IR radiation, which provides an additional cooling mechanism. Most conventional fabrics are opaque to IR radiation and block thermal emission from the body to the environment. Fabrics for personalized cooling applications have been proposed that enable IR transmission to directly pass through clothing, while being opaque at visible wavelengths. Fabrics that are transparent in the infrared can radiate body heat at rates that will significantly reduce the burden on power-hungry air conditioning systems. Properties There are four main properties that characterize thermal radiation in the limit of the far field. Thermal radiation emitted by a body at any temperature consists of a wide range of frequencies. The frequency distribution is given by Planck's law of black body radiation for an idealized emitter as shown in the diagram at top. The dominant frequency or color range of the emitted radiation shifts to higher frequencies as the temperature of the emitter increases. For example, a red-hot object radiates mainly in the long wavelengths red and orange of the visible band. If it is heated further, it also begins to emit discernible amounts of green and blue light, and the spread of frequencies in the entire visible range cause it to appear white to the human eye, it is white hot. Even at a white hot temperature of 2000 K, 99% of the energy of the radiation is still in the infrared. This is determined by Wien's displacement law. In the diagram the peak value for each curve moves to the left as the temperature increases. 
The total amount of radiation of all frequencies increases steeply as the temperature rises, it grows as T4, where T is the absolute temperature of the body. An object at the temperature of a kitchen oven, about twice the room temperature on the absolute temperature scale 600K versus 300K radiates 16 times as much power per unit area. An object at the temperature of the filament in an incandescent light bulb—roughly 3000 K, or 10 times room temperature—radiates 10,000 times as much energy per unit area. The total radiative intensity of a black body rises as the fourth power of the absolute temperature, as expressed by the Stefan Boltzmann law. In the plot, the area under each curve grows rapidly as the temperature increases. The rate of electromagnetic radiation emitted at a given frequency is proportional to the amount of absorption that it would experience by the source, a property known as reciprocity. Thus, a surface that absorbs more red light thermally radiates more red light. This principle applies to all properties of the wave, including wavelength, color, direction, polarization, and even coherence, so that it is quite possible to have thermal radiation which is polarized, coherent, and directional, though polarized and coherent forms are fairly rare in nature far from sources in terms of wavelength. See section below for more on this qualification. Topic: <laughs> Near field and far field. The general properties of thermal radiation as described by the Planck's law apply if the linear dimension of all parts considered, as well as radii of curvature of all surfaces are large compared with the wavelength of the ray considered typically from 8 to 25 micrometers for the emitter at 300 K. Indeed, thermal radiation as discussed above takes only radiating waves far field, or electromagnetic radiation into account. A more sophisticated framework involving electromagnetic theory must be used for smaller distances from the thermal source or surface near field thermal radiation. For example, although far field thermal radiation at distances from surfaces of more than one wavelength is generally not coherent to any extent, near field thermal radiation, i.e., radiation at distances of a fraction of various radiation wavelengths, may exhibit a degree of both temporal and spatial coherence. Planck's law of thermal radiation has been challenged in recent decades by predictions and successful demonstrations of the radiative heat transfer between objects separated by nanoscale gaps that deviate significantly from the law predictions. This deviation is especially strong up to several orders in magnitude when the emitter and absorber support surface polaritan modes that can couple through the gap separating cold and hot objects. However, to take advantage of the surface polaritan mediated near field radiative heat transfer, the two objects need to be separated by ultra narrow gaps on the order of microns or even nanometers. This limitation significantly complicates practical device designs. Another way to modify the object thermal emission spectrum is by reducing the dimensionality of the emitter itself. This approach builds upon the concept of confining electrons in quantum wells, wires and dots, and tailors thermal emission by engineering confined photon states in two- and three-dimensional potential traps, including wells, wires, and dots. Such spatial confinement concentrates photon states and enhances thermal emission at select frequencies. To achieve the required level of photon confinement, the dimensions of the radiating objects should be on the order of or below the thermal wavelength predicted by Planck's law. Most importantly, the emission spectrum of thermal wells, wires and dots deviates from Planck's law predictions not only in the near field, but also in the far field, which significantly expands the range of their applications. Subjective color to the eye of a black body thermal radiator <inaudible> Selected radiant heat fluxes The time to a damage from exposure to radiative heat is a function of the rate of delivery of the heat. Radiative heat flux and effects 1 W per square centimeter equals 10 kilowatts per square meter equals topic interchange of energy equals thermal radiation is one of the three principal mechanisms of heat transfer it entails the emission of a spectrum of electromagnetic radiation due to an object's temperature other mechanisms are convection and conduction 
The interplay of energy exchange by thermal radiation is characterized by the following equation: alpha plus rho plus tau equals one. Display style alpha plus rho plus tau equals one. Here, alpha display style alpha represents the spectral absorption component. Rho display style rho spectral reflection component and tau display style tau the spectral transmission component these elements are a function of the wavelength lambda display style lambda of the electromagnetic radiation the spectral absorption is equal to the emissivity e display style epsilon this relation is known as kirchhoff's law of thermal radiation an object is called a black body if, for all frequencies, the following formula applies: alpha equals e equals one. Display style alpha equals epsilon equals one. In a practical situation and room temperature setting, humans lose considerable energy due to thermal radiation in infrared, in addition to that lost by conduction to air, aided by concurrent convection or other air movement like drafts. The heat energy lost is partially regained by absorbing heat radiation from walls or other surroundings. Heat gained by conduction would occur for air temperature higher than body temperature, otherwise, body temperature is maintained from generated heat through internal metabolism. Human skin has an emissivity of very close to 1.0. Using the formulas below shows a human, having roughly 2 square meter in surface area, and a temperature of about 307 K continuously radiates approximately 1,000 watts. If people are indoors, surrounded by surfaces at 296 K, they receive back about 900 watts from the wall, ceiling, and other surroundings, so the net loss is only about 100 watts. These heat transfer estimates are highly dependent on extrinsic variables, such as wearing clothes, i.e. decreasing total thermal circuit conductivity, therefore reducing total output heat flux. Only truly gray systems relative equivalent emissivity, absorptivity and no directional transmissivity dependence in all control volume bodies considered can achieve reasonable steady state heat flux estimates through the Stefan-Boltzmann law. Encountering this ideally calculable situation is almost impossible although common engineering procedures surrender the dependency of these unknown variables and assume this to be the case. Optimistically, these gray approximations will get close to real solutions, as most divergence from Stefan Boltzmann solutions is very small, especially in most STP lab-controlled environments. If objects appear white, reflective in the visual spectrum, they are not necessarily equally reflective and thus non-emissive in the thermal infrared. See the diagram at the left. Most household radiators are painted white but this is sensible given that they are not hot enough to radiate any significant amount of heat, and are not designed as thermal radiators at all, they are actually convectors, and painting them matte black would make little difference to their efficacy. Acrylic and urethane-based white paints have 93% black body radiation efficiency at room temperature meaning the term black body does not always correspond to the visually perceived color of an object. These materials that do not follow the black color equals high emissivity absorptivity caveat will most likely have functional spectral emissivity absorptivity dependence. Calculation of radiative heat transfer between groups of object including a cavity or surroundings requires solution of a set of simultaneous equations using the radiosity method. In these calculations, the geometrical configuration of the problem is distilled to a set of numbers called view factors, which give the proportion of radiation leaving any given surface that hits another specific surface. These calculations are important in the fields of solar thermal energy, boiler and furnace design and ray-traced computer graphics. A selective surface can be used when energy is being extracted from the sun. For instance, when a greenhouse is made, most of the roof and walls are made out of glass. Glass is transparent in the visible approximately 0.4 micrometers 3 micrometers. Therefore, glass lets in radiation in the visible range, allowing us to be able to see through it, but does not let out radiation that is emitted from objects at or close to room temperature. This traps what we feel as heat. This is known as the greenhouse effect and can be observed by getting into a car that has been sitting in the sun. Selective surfaces can also be used on solar collectors. 
We can find out how much help a selective surface coating is by looking at the equilibrium temperature of a plate that is being heated through solar radiation. If the plate is receiving a solar irradiation of 1350 W per square meter minimum is 1325 W per square meter on July 4 and maximum is 1418 W per square meter on January 3 from the Sun the temperature of the plate where the radiation leaving is equal to the radiation being received by the plate is 393 K 248 degrees Fahrenheit. If the plate has a selective surface with an emissivity of 0.9 and a cut-off wavelength of 2.0 micrometers, the equilibrium temperature is approximately 1250 K The calculations were made neglecting convective heat transfer and neglecting the solar irradiation absorbed in the cloud's atmosphere for simplicity, the theory is still the same for an actual problem. To reduce the heat transfer from a surface, such as a glass window, a clear reflective film with a low emissivity coating can be placed on the interior of the surface. Low emittance low e coatings are microscopically thin, virtually invisible, metal or metallic oxide layers deposited on a window or skylight glazing surface primarily to reduce the U factor by suppressing radiative heat flow. By adding this coating we are limiting the amount of radiation that leaves the window thus increasing the amount of heat that is retained inside the window. Since any electromagnetic radiation, including thermal radiation, conveys momentum as well as energy, thermal radiation also induces very small forces on the radiating or absorbing objects. Normally these forces are negligible, but they must be taken into account when considering spacecraft navigation. The pioneer anomaly, where the motion of the craft slightly deviated from that expected from gravity alone, was eventually tracked down to asymmetric thermal radiation from the spacecraft. Similarly, the orbits of asteroids are perturbed since the asteroid absorbs solar radiation on the side facing the Sun, but then re-emits the energy at a different angle as the rotation of the asteroid carries the warm surface out of the Sun's view the YORP effect. Topic: Radiative power. Thermal radiation power of a black body per unit area of radiating surface per unit of solid angle and per unit frequency. New. Display style new. Is given by Planck's laws. U. New. T. Equals. Two. H. New. Three. C two one E H new K B T minus one display style U new T equals FRAC two H new carrot three C carrot two C D O T FRAC one E carrot H new K underscore B T minus one or instead of per unit frequency, per unit wavelength as U lambda T equals two H C two lambda five one E H C K B T lambda minus one display style u lambda t equals frac two h c caret two lambda caret five c d o t frac one e caret h c k underscore b t lambda minus one. This formula mathematically follows from calculation of spectral distribution of energy in quantized electromagnetic field, which is in complete thermal equilibrium with the radiating object. The equation is derived as an infinite sum over all possible frequencies in a semi-sphere region. The energy E equals H nu display style E equals H nu of each photon is multiplied by the number of states available at that frequency and the probability that each of those states will be occupied. Integrating the above equation over nu display style nu the power output given by the Stefan Boltzmann law is obtained as P equals sigma of T four 
display style p equals sigma c d o t a c d o t t caret four, where the constant of proportionality sigma display style sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant and a display style a is the radiating surface area. The wavelength lambda display style lambda for which the emission intensity is highest is given by Wien's displacement law as lambda max equals b t display style lambda underscore text max equals frac b t for surfaces which are not black bodies one has to consider the generally frequency dependent emissivity factor e nu display style epsilon nu this factor has to be multiplied with the radiation spectrum formula before integration. If it is taken as a constant, the resulting formula for the power output can be written in a way that contains E displaystyle epsilon as a factor P equals E sigma a T four Display style p equals epsilon c d o t sigma c d o t a c d o t t caret four. This type of theoretical model, with frequency independent emissivity lower than that of a perfect black body, is often known as a gray body. For frequency dependent emissivity, the solution for the integrated power depends on the functional form of the dependence, though in general there is no simple expression for it. Practically speaking, if the emissivity of the body is roughly constant around the peak emission wavelength, the gray body model tends to work fairly well since the weight of the curve around the peak emission tends to dominate the integral. Topic: <laughs> Constants. Definitions of constants used in the above equations. Topic: Variables Definitions of variables, with example values Radiative heat transfer The net radiative heat transfer from one surface to another is the radiation leaving the first surface for the other minus that arriving from the second surface. For black bodies, the rate of energy transfer from surface 1 to surface 2 is Q 1 2 equals a 1 e b 1 f 1 2 minus a 2 e b 2 f 2 1 display style dot q underscore 1 right arrow 2 equals a underscore 1 e underscore b 1 f underscore 1 right arrow 2 a underscore 2 e underscore b 2 f underscore 2 right arrow 1 where a display style a is surface area e b display style e underscore b is energy flux the rate of emission per unit surface area and f 1 2 display style f underscore 1 right arrow 2 is the view factor from surface 1 to surface 2 applying both the reciprocity rule for view factors a 1 f 1 2 equals a 2 F two one display style a underscore one f underscore one right arrow two equals a underscore two f underscore two right arrow one and the Stefan Boltzmann law e b equals sigma t four display style e underscore b equals sigma t caret four yields Q one two equals Sigma a one F one two T one 
4 minus t 2 4 display style dot q underscore 1 right arrow 2 equals sigma a underscore 1 f underscore 1 right arrow 2 t underscore 1 carrot 4 t underscore 2 carrot 4 where sigma display style sigma is the ste fan boltzmann constant and t display style t is temperature a negative value for q display style dot q indicates that net radiation heat transfer is from surface 2 to surface 1 for two gray body surfaces forming an enclosure the heat transfer rate is q equals sigma t 1 4 minus t 2 4 1 minus e 1 o 1 e 1 plus 1 o 1 f 1 2 plus 1 minus e 2 o 2 e 2 Display style dot q equals dfrac sigma t underscore one carrot four t underscore two carrot four dfrac one epsilon underscore one a underscore one epsilon underscore one plus dfrac one a underscore one f underscore one right arrow two plus dfrac one epsilon underscore two a underscore two epsilon underscore two where e one Display style epsilon underscore one and e two display style epsilon underscore two are the emissivities of the surfaces. Formulas for radiative heat transfer can be derived for more particular or more elaborate physical arrangements, such as between parallel plates, concentric spheres, and the internal surfaces of a cylinder. Topic. See also. Incandescence Infrared photography Interior radiation control coating Planck radiation Radiant cooling Sakuma-Hattori equation Thermal dose unit View factor <laughs>